Hi and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would vlog today. The boys are back at school so in my last vlog I shared how it was the school holidays and now they're back at school so the house is really nice and quiet. But yeah I thought I would take you along uh, with me on my day today. So the first thing I'm gonna do, well already this morning I have dropped the boys off and then I came home and did my morning reset and put the washing that I put on early this morning away and now I'm actually going to head out of the house. Lachlan's birthday is coming up in the next few weeks and I have most of his presents but there's just a couple of things I would like to get so that's all done and we also always get Tobias a little present on Lachlan's birthday and Lachlan a little present on Tobias's birthday. Uh, we've done that I think since Tobias was born and Mike's family used to do that as well. Of course when they're a bit older we won't do that anymore but for now uh, it just makes it easier for the sibling uh, to not just watch uh, the other one open all the presents but have a little uh, present themselves. So I want to get Tobias a game so I'm going to get that while I'm out. And then the other thing I really want to get done today is resetting up my fly lady method so I'll talk a little bit about that when I get back. Uh, I think I am going to use an extra sheet though. I'm pretty sure I've never used this before. I will, as always, anytime I talk about this, uh, link the Etsy shop that I buy the printables off. So I bought these probably four, three or four years ago and I just print them off when I need them. But I don't believe that I've used this one before, which is a monthly spread. So I am going to try and use that because I think it's going to be helpful with keeping me on track with the Flow Lady. But I'll talk about that more uh, later this morning. For now, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make a smoothie and I'm gonna make a banana one. I'm just going to use some frozen bananas and then I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but I'm gonna put in this turmeric latte powder. So a while ago when I was talking about smoothies, someone mentioned that they put uh, like a chai spice, I'm pretty sure they said, into their banana smoothie and that sounded really good to me. And I bought some of this turmeric latte just from the grocery store and it tastes really good in the banana smoothie, especially in winter. It's got those kind of warming <laughs> spices in it. So I'm going to uh, add about a teaspoon of this, I think is what I usually add, to some frozen banana and some milk and make a smoothie that I can take in the car with me. One other thing I really wanted to do this morning was open this. So this came, I picked it up yesterday and I thought I would open it this morning while I was vlogging. So it's from the UK. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna open it up and yeah, share it with you. It says on the outside that it's a little notebook, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this is really cute. So I'm just going to, our oh, crafting queen. I craft, therefore I rock. Craft so hard, you start to sweat glitter. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I'm just gonna take a minute to read this. Okay, so this is from Camilla. Camilla, thank you so much uh, for this. This is so cute, both of these things. Uh, so the card is like this, it says Crafting Queen. I really love that. And the notebook is, wow, <laughs> so cute. It's got this little cat on the front and a cat on the back. I think I'm gonna have to think of something really special to use this for. Maybe I will use it as part of my crafting as a little knitting or making journal. So Camilla, thank you so much. I absolutely love it and I really love the card and everything you said in it that's really cool I'd love to go to the Museum of Making that sounds like a really cool place and somewhere that I would love so yeah thank you Camilla that's so sweet and kind I really love those you've made my day um, so yeah thank you very much I will definitely use this notebook for something special so yeah, now after that little bright spot in my morning, I am going to make a smoothie and go and finish off my birthday shopping. Okay, so I am back. I thought I would show you what I got while I was out. I just got two uh, cheap 
uh, t-shirts, a white one and a black one, just for myself. Uh, I've just found myself wanting some basic t-shirts over the last couple of weeks, so I decided to go ahead and get those. I got two more drawing books for the boys. I always get these from Kmart, they're about $3. They last a really long time and they're just a great size for the boys to draw in and both of them at the stage now where they like to continue drawing so I like to have it in a book so they can go back to the drawing or whatever they're doing rather than just on loose sheets of paper so two of those which I'll give the boys when they get home. Then I bought some new glasses because I don't know over the last couple of years we've obviously broken a few because I'm down to just three of these ones which I really like. Um, we do have some small ones for the boys but they're a bit small for adults to drink out of so I just bought six of these and they should last us another good few years I kind of liked just the simplicity of them and the size so yeah got six of those so I'll put those in the dishwasher and then I unfortunately couldn't get the game that I wanted to get Tobias they didn't have any in stock so I guess I'll try and order that online uh, otherwise I'll find something else but I did get some Pokemon cards Lockie and Tobias both really like Pokemon cards and it's one of the things Lockie asked for for his birthday. So I got two packets for Lachlan and one for Tobias. And then I also just got them a little uh, Kinder chocolate bar to add to the gifts because it's fun when you wake up on a birthday to have a little sweet treat. Uh, we also do uh, like a fun breakfast cereal for them on their birthday. So yeah, I got that all done. Now it's lunchtime, so I'm just gonna reheat some leftover pasta. I was really tempted to buy lunch while I was out, but I didn't, and I'm proud of myself for that. And today is Wednesday, so we have breakfast for dinner, so I've got no dinner prep to do. Wednesday is a day off for me <laughs> with dinner prep. I think I will make the boys some French toast, so there's a little bit of cooking involved, but it'll be really easy. But yeah, I don't have to do any prep for that, so I'm gonna put all this away, eat my lunch, and then I will come back and show you how I am setting up a uh, fly lady again. In case I've had my lunch, I've just made a coffee. I have really been loving this uh, Starbucks cup. I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks actual coffee, but I do like their cups. Mike's had one uh, since we moved here. So however many years that is now, <laughs> coming up to two years, three years. Um, and he still uses it and he loves it. I put it in the dishwasher, even though it says not to, it's <laughs> absolutely fine. I haven't put this one in the dishwasher, but I do love it. It keeps my coffee that I just make at home, my filter coffee, uh, hot for hours. So I really love that, especially in winter. And I also put tea in there sometimes uh, when I go and pick up the boys. So anyway, all that to say, I really love this cup. I actually haven't used uh, my capsule coffee machine in probably about, I don't know, two or three weeks now. Uh, I'm really enjoying the filter coffee and I know it's a lot better for me. I know it's better for the environment. I have looked at reusable pods for the capture machine, but honestly, I kind of just like the filter coffee. So I haven't donated or sold my capsule machine yet because I've made mistakes in the past where I have uh, gotten rid of things like that and then rebought them. So I just really want to make sure that I don't want it, but so far I'm not missing it at all. So yeah, I'm having coffee and I'm about to sit down and uh, fill out my fly lady method sheets. Uh, so I guess I'll start off by saying that I really love setting up things like this. So if I see a new one, like the task card system or something, I love seeing it up and giving it a go. I don't think it's a failure if you don't follow through with it. I don't think it's a failure if you do one month of fly lady and then try something else for a few months. Uh, it's just seeing what works for you. And I love trying out new things. I guess being a homemaker is my career. And just like in any job, you try out new things and see if they'll work. And if they don't, you can try something else or you can go back to something. And I tend to always go back to the fly lady method. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And it's a great time to do it because it's the end of July. So August is a fresh start. So if you'd like to try out the fly lady method, um, I think doing it at the beginning of a month is a great idea. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how to set it up, but I will link videos that I have done on that in the past. Uh, like I said, I am using a new sheet. I don't believe I've ever used this monthly uh, format before, but I really wanted to use this because there are some things I don't think need to be cleaned every month. And the Fly Lady is all about doing a really deep clean every month so you don't spring clean. But for me, there are a few things that it's kind of just wasteful of my time to be doing every month. So uh, on here, I'm gonna have decluttering. I always like to do that every three months. But then things like the pantry, I like to tidy the pantry every week before I do my grocery shop so that'll be part of my weekly reset. 
but I don't think it needs to be wiped out and the whole thing cleaned every month. I think I could do that bi-monthly. Same with the boys' wardrobes and my wardrobe. I think I could do the boys' wardrobe bi-monthly, take everything out, give it a really deep clean and reorganize it. And the same with Mike and I's wardrobe. So those were the kind of things that made uh, zone cleaning feel overwhelming to me, those really big jobs. And I honestly don't think they need to be done every month. So uh, make up your own rules when it comes to the Fly Lady method. I think it's a good kind of template to use, but I'm definitely gonna be switching it up a little bit by adding some more bi-monthly things. And another thing I wanted to mention is the main reason I do the Fly Lady method is not because my house gets really dirty and messy if I'm not using it. Uh, it's kind of the opposite to that. I clean too much when I don't have a system like this because I will start wiping down something and then I'll be like, oh, I should clean this. And then I'll be like, oh, I should clean that. And then sometimes, especially if you're at home all day, it feels like you spend all your time cleaning. And I definitely fall into that trap where I'll start cleaning something and then I'll start cleaning something else. Even uh, when I was doing my whole house in a day each week, there were still other days where I'd start cleaning something and then I was probably cleaning clean things. I remember there was a TV show that I watched when I lived with my mum and it was uh, a UK family, an English family that their house was put into the middle of an African tribe's uh, village. And the women from the tribe came and kept asking why the mother was cleaning a clean floor. And I remember my mum and I saying, how much time are we spending cleaning a clean floor? Like, this is ridiculous. So I'm definitely going to think about that when I set up my fly lady method this time, is I don't need to be cleaning clean things. It's okay to let things sit for a while and then give them a deep clean. Uh, for me, it's more important that everything's tidy <laughs> and that everything gets cleaned when it needs to, but I don't, I don't need to be cleaning clean things. So I hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to go ahead and write out everything. I think I'm going to keep the same zones. So four zones, a zone a week. I don't clean on the weekends. Well, I do if I don't have a system. <laughs> I do clean on the weekends. But with the Fly Lady method, I don't clean on the weekends, just Monday to Friday. And our house is so small, uh, just a two bedroom townhouse that I do 15 minutes a day. And I can pretty much get everything done in that time. I will keep up with the weekly resets and morning and afternoon resets have just become muscle memory for me now. I don't think about it. It's just something I automatically do. But I am going to write down my weekly reset again and just make sure that the things that are on there are things I actually want to do and make my week run easier. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This should take me more than 10 or 15 minutes to get set up. Okay, so let me show you what I've got so far on the monthly page. So I'm going to start everything from August because it's August in about a week. Uh, so this first little patch down here I've got for organized. So I've got declutter the house, so I do a whole house declutter, the boys wardrobe and our wardrobe. And I'm sure there'll be a couple more things I want to add to here. Uh, I'm just doing everything in pencil at the moment so I can change anything out. And then I've just got them, I've just put little dots in bi-monthly and I will just tick them off when they're done. And then in the deep clean area, I've got the pantry, so that every two months, the bathroom cupboard, that's the one under the sink, and then the blinds. So I have a tool on our vacuum cleaner that vacuums our blinds. That does not need to be done every month. That's a mammoth task to do every four weeks. So I've got that bi-monthly as well. Then the walls upstairs and downstairs, so doing a spot clean of those, and then the doors upstairs and downstairs. So these are things that were typically on my zone cleaning list, which I did every month, and just removing them and putting in bi-monthly, they'll still be really clean, they're gonna get done, but it's gonna make uh, my time in each zone a lot less overwhelming. And I'm sure I will add more to this list as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the zone cleaning that I'll do every month. Okay, so I have done my first two zones. Uh, my first zone is going to be the kitchen. I always let the kitchen be its own zone because there's just more things to do in there. And it's usually a bit grimier than other places. But while I was writing out my kitchen list, I did think of a couple of things that I can take from the monthly and add to the bi-monthly. So I added from the kitchen uh, the coffee grinder and also the kitchen drawers. I do, um, I think I put it on here. Yes, the cutlery drawer. I like to do that every month because it's just a high use area. But I put for the other kitchen drawers on bi-monthly and I put the coffee grinder bi-monthly. Um, so yeah, I'm finding things that I can add. And I know that I'm going to get questions about when I'll do these jobs. 
and they will be done in the 15 minute zone cleaning, but they'll only be done every second month. So instead of doing all of these every month, I'll only have to add them um, bi-monthly. So it's definitely gonna free up some of the time and make it a little bit easier. Uh, then I have also done the living room. So zone two is gonna be the living room, which is hardly anything to clean because there's hardly anything in it. And the stairs, all I need to do is dust and do the handrail and the hallway. And I haven't added floors to any of these because the floors are something I do in my weekly reset. So it doesn't need to be done in the 15 minutes of zone cleaning. And I'll explain that when I get to uh, the form explaining my weekly reset. Now I am gonna go ahead and do zone three and zone four. So zone three is going to be Mike and I's bedroom and the bathroom, because again, the bathroom is a little bit grimier. Um, but in saying that I do do the bathroom, my weekly reset, so I'm gonna to have to figure that out and split them up. Uh, and then zone four is going to be the boys room. And that's uh, not a big space, but they have a lot of little things. So it just takes longer to dust and clean. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do those now. Okay, so that's all done. I have written out everything. I feel like I've forgotten something. <laughs> I'm not sure, but that's all right. Uh, things don't have to be perfect for you to just start. So I could probably find my old one of these somewhere, but all I'll do is I'll start working in the zone uh, like I used to. And if I need to add jobs, that's fine. It feels very light <laughs> on things that need to be done, but maybe that's because I have added things to the bi-monthly. I also wrote out my weekly reset. So I'll quickly tell you what's on that. So a weekly reset is done just once a week. I think it's meant to be about an hour. And I know when I say that it might seem like uh, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time cleaning, but really it's not. It's an hour every Monday or whatever day you'd like to do it. And then 15 minutes on Monday to Friday. So Monday's the heaviest cleaning day, I guess, with an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, but I mean, if you clean your whole house, that's hours and hours if you do it all in one day. So you probably end up spending that much time cleaning anyway. You're just not doing it uh, in a way that you can really see it on paper. Uh, so yeah, I have those zones done and then my weekly reset. So I'm pretty sure this is the same as it used to be apart from the cat litter because I didn't have Luna last time I did the fly lady method. So uh, vacuum the whole house. So I don't have vacuuming on any of my zone lists because I just give the house a really good vacuum. Uh, every Monday. Then the kitchen floor and the bathroom floor. So I clean both of those. Again, they're not on my zone cleaning list because I just do them in my weekly reset. Then the shower, I like to spray down the shower every Monday and give it a really light clean. And then I'll do a deep clean in the zone. Uh, my toilet and sink are done in what's called a swish and swipe. So I do that every day in my morning reset. And my re morning reset isn't a lot of cleaning. It's like 15 minutes to half an hour maybe, depending on how messy the house is. It's literally just picking things up so the house is tidy. There's very little actual cleaning involved, but I do do a swish and swipe in the bathroom, which is the toilet and the sink. And I also wipe down the benches, just your regular morning things. Uh, so then I have the cat litter trays. So Luna has two litter trays and we change the litter and everything regularly, but I like to give them a really deep clean with soapy warm water every Monday. Then I have tidy the pantry, not cleaning, because I do that uh, on my bi-monthly thing, just tidying and same with the fridge. I do the fridge in my zone cleaning. So it's just a tidy on a Monday. And if there's any spills or anything, I will wipe those up. And then just empty the bathroom rubbish bin. Our kitchen one gets emptied every night. So the bathroom one I just do on a Monday. So that is my weekly reset. Uh, if you'd like to know more about this, if this is the first video that you've watched, I will leave a link to my Fly Lady uh, playlist in case you want to know things a bit more in depth. And like I said, I will leave the link to these printables in the description box. The owner of the store on Etsy is really lovely. Uh, she's emailed me before to say that a lot of you, when you see my videos, have gone and bought them. And I really like that because you're just supporting an independent seller. And that's really great. Um, so yeah, now that's done for the day. I'm going to finish my coffee with these. I think I will eventually laminate them because I love laminating things. But I'm going to use them for a month or so first, just to make sure I have the jobs on them that I want. And I'll probably just use a pencil to mark them off. And then once I've laminated them, I use either a whiteboard eraser or a permanent marker. And a permanent marker you can take off using uh, rubbing alcohol or anything like that. 
so yeah i'm glad that's done and i'm excited to get back into this system so that i don't know i just don't have to spend all my time cleaning or feel like i have to just know that everything's going to be done is great now i've got about an hour and a half before i need to go and pick up the boys so i might edit what i filmed so far and then i'm going to do some knitting so i'll give you a little bit of a knitting update Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of a knitting update and I know that some of you who have eagle eyes and notice things in my house will notice the shelves up behind me. We actually uh, put those in last weekend for Luna. I saw on Pinterest uh, kind of the cat shelves that you could buy and we just bought these from Bunnings. Uh, we figured they'd be really easy to install and if she didn't like them that would just take them down but she loves them. She climbs from her cat tree up into the first shelf which has a little kind of bed house and then there's also another shelf further up so she can get up really high and uh yeah she loves it we feel like because she's an inside cat we owe it to her to make sure she has plenty of things to keep her interested and she's really loving those and it means that tobias can't get to her he just loves her he loves to pet her all the time and he can reach her at the top of the cat tower and he wants to pet her while she's asleep and sometimes she just wants to be left alone so <laughs> uh obviously he can't reach the shelves so she really loves them um and yeah that's what's in the corner of my video up there uh so yeah i'm going to show you my knitting so i'll start with the green thing i'm not going to talk too long about it because i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but i know some of you are knitters i saw in the comments of my last video that you were happy to uh join me and watch my knitting content so uh yeah that's great i'm really excited about that this is kind of hard to show because i'm in the middle of a row but this is how far along I am in my, gosh, it looks weird, uh, my green shawl. Uh, so I feel like I've done quite a lot uh, since last week and I'm still really enjoying it. Uh, I've got this much left of the first skein and then I may do another skein. I'll see how big it is. I would like it to be quite large and the original kind of thought of it is for it not to be really long. So I have another skein here and while the thought of having to knit this up is kind of intimidating for how long it's taking to do the first one, I think I probably will uh, knit up the other skein. And then I did cast on another project just because I wanted to try something different. I'm excited to try new things. Uh, so this is just another one of the Daiso bags. And for my birthday, I also got um, a little extra gift, which is this little... Um, I got this from Mike's mum, little pin, and it just says she's crafty on it <laughs> i really love that and in this i just have a hat that i'm knitting so i definitely don't expect my first hat that i knit in the round to turn out perfectly when i did my last one i've already taken two stitches off here when i did my last one it was knit flat and then uh, I guess you used a magic loop, I think, to join it together. Whereas this one, I think you still use a magic loop at the end. Again, if you're not a knitter, this just sounds like globbity gook. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to figure out how to knit things in the round. So this is the Petite Knits Oslo hat. And yeah, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. That's okay. I'm just going to keep going. Even if it's too small, it will fit one of the boys. So that's what I'm doing. But I haven't been spending a lot of time on this. And Camilla, I am going to put your beautiful little notebook in here and I'm going to use it for keeping track of stitches and knitting notes or anything I think about while I'm knitting. Oh, I just realized how cute the inside is. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to live in my little knitting bag and I really love it. So thank you so much again for the little notebook. Super cute. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do a bit of knitting and I think I'm going to end the vlog here since we're just having breakfast for dinner. There's not really going to be anything that exciting to show. And let me know down in the comments if you think you might try out the fly lady method or if you have a system that really works for you, definitely leave it uh, some information about it or let us know what it is down in the comments because I'm sure it'll help someone else whether they work uh, outside of the home or whether they're a homemaker or a stay-at-home mum. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.